But this is uh, this week is Detroit Cocktail Week, and we have invited Don Ferguson here from Teak Life to chat with us, as well as Derek Tedders from Cocktail Detroit. So this is kind of like the trifecta of the Detroit Cocktail Instagram Illuminati, right here. Yeah, Illuminati, I like it. Pretty much. <laughs> yeah. What, what's interesting is last year I was an attendee, so I bought tickets, and now here I am, you know, hosting with Nick and Derek, who I've been following for a while. And it's just, it's really an honor to be able to, you know, be a part of this. And I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, and this is my fourth year at the Cocktail Classic, so it should be a good time. Yeah. So um, we are drinking, actually, Don happens to have a tequila. <laughs> Thank you, sir. I'm not apparently fancy enough. I don't have my own products. Yeah. But um, you, you know. brought, do a quick plug for your tequila. So I created Teak Life, which is a micro-influencer social media marketing company. And... All along, I wanted a tequila. I love tequila, so I said, why don't we just come out with a tequila? So we created the world's first coconut lime blanco. It is 100% agave, not a mixed dough whatsoever. And then we have a reposado tequila that is uh, aged eight months in Jack Daniels whiskey barrels. Cool. So for you whiskey lovers out there, cheers. Cheers to that. Cheers, guys. We'll bring you back when you hit your first million. <laughs> Hopefully soon. This is great. This is great. This it's is very really good. good. Very sweet, Thank very you. smooth. Yeah, I like Appreciate that. Appreciate it. So we wanted to get together to cover Detroit Cocktail Week. Yeah. This is the biggest week that happens all year for Definitely. Detroit. Yeah. And um, the thought is, all those great events that happened, we're going to come together and talk on Friday, live at the event. Mm -hmm. We're going to do a live Facebook cast just like this. And it's going to be the three of us mm -hmm. interviewing all the bartenders. It's going to be fun. Very so fun. Let's, uh, let's do some background. So tell me about Teak Life. How did you start that? So Teak Life kind of came out of uh, a situation where I was watching Diners, Drive-Ins, and Dives, and I, I, I love Guy Fieri, so mm -hmm. I also love tequila. And I, I, I looked at my wife and I said, why doesn't anybody do this for the spirits industry mm -hmm. slash mainly tequila? Yeah. And she said, why don't you do it? And she kind of pushed me to doing it, and you know, so that's, that's how Teak Life kind of came about. And originally I was doing nothing but tequilas, but we've kind of bridged the gap over to where now I'm getting gins and rums and glass you know, vodka. Glass vodka is yep. definitely a fan favorite. Um, we're actually going to be doing their spice Ooh. within the next uh, 30 days. So Great. that's going to be good. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's uh, that's kind of how it came about is like just having fun with it, but edutaining people. And edutaining means educating and then entertaining them. So kind of what you do, yeah. you know, um, you know, so kind of kind of bit off you bit your style a little bit but you know um you know not as big as you but you know just yeah. having fun just just really having fun with with the platform and you're doing a great job so long time audience members will notice that we've had don's uh little plug that has ran during our message break yep. so you can see uh you saw his face every week <laughs> uh, so that's been great Derek, thank you of course thank you um, Derek, you do Cocktail Detroit. I do. Um, you have grown incredibly rapidly on Instagram. Yeah, thank you. I um, appreciate that. Talk a little bit about your platform. So Cocktail Detroit started about five years ago. Uh, before, before Cocktail Detroit, I was a Canadian club and Coke kind of guy. So uh, fortunately, my, my wife uh, introduced me to craft cocktails. My first bar was the Sugar House okay. downtown in Corktown. So ever since then, um, I've fallen in love with cocktails. I've fallen in love with the culture. Um, we would go out about every weekend, and I figured... I'm already drinking, so why not just start taking a picture of it? So I started on my phone, just would snap a quick picture of a cocktail, give a couple words about the cocktail, a couple words about the bar, and then that was it. And then ever since then, I've gotten a little bit of a following. Uh, the bars really appreciate what I do because it gives them exposure. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's where I'm at right now. And his photos are fantastic. You do a really, really good job. Yes. Um, yeah, thanks, Nate. Just recently, you had a photo show mm -hmm. at Willis Show at Willis Bar. Bar, yeah. And if you've ever been to that bar, mm -hmm. it is the darkest, darkest freaking bar you've ever been in. <laughs> and your photos <laughs> turned out beautiful. It, it's extremely dark. Uh, I still believe that I don't really know what I'm doing. Um, but uh, I took some pictures, and luckily some of them turned out. Uh, if you go to Willis Bar, actually, they have a Cocktail Detroit Willis book printed out, and you can look at all the cocktails on their menu and have like an actual visual representation of what their cocktails look like along with the description. That's great. So this is the fifth year for Cocktail Classic mm -hmm. and you guys have now been to multiple of them. I've mm -hmm. been to all five. It sounds like I believe you guys have been to all five as well. I've been yeah. to all four I believe. All I think, four. I think, all four. I think yes, this, this will fifth. be my fifth year. Exactly. I've yeah. been to the last two. Okay. So we've definitely been to the recent ones that were in yes. um, Eastern Market. Eastern Market. Mm -hmm. This is we're moving on to the Reposado now. Thank you. Reposado time. And 
what do people have to expect at this big oh. tasting event? Ooh, busy. Um, I, I would say get there early if you can. Mm -hmm. uh, there's Starts no doubt six. about it. Yeah, get there at 5.30. Find a parking spot, get in because it's going to be jam-packed and what I would try to do too is do a little bit of research so that way you know where you want to go. Because it's 46 different cocktails. You're not going to hit all of them. No, no. So pick out your favorites, figure out where you want to go. It's almost like Cedar Point. You know, when you oh, go in Cedar yeah, Point yeah. really early, it's like I got to hit whatever, you yep. know, the mag, the I don't raptor, know. The Raptor, the Whatever, yeah. mm -hmm. you know, and, and just run over there, get your drink and just enjoy it. Take it all in because this is the best of Detroit. This is the best you know, of the bars and, and, and mixology. Mm -hmm. You know, that's what it is, is mm -hmm. mixology is an art form. And you talked about Sugar House, and that was my first experience with yeah, Detroit that mixology. Yeah, was first people's first experience. Yeah, it's, it's mm -hmm. just fantastic. I think we were there about four hours and uh, about uh, $1,000 later. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> pretty much. So you, could, you could spend $1,000 there pretty quick. <laughs> yeah. Derek, so you, you're getting pretty familiar with the bartenders in the city. Mm -hmm. Who are a couple people that you would, so let's say you're doing your Cedar Point, Who's the guy you're going to run to first at the experience? So I, I've been saying it since day one. My favorite bar um, is Two James, right in oh, Corktown. Wow. Okay. Um, I really appreciate Two James because they one distill their own liquor. Mm -hmm. All their cocktails have yeah. their own liquor in it. Um, they have a really cool bar. It's very inviting. Um, there's it, you can almost never go in there and not have a spot. And then three, their service is great. All their bartenders are so personable. Yeah. Uh, my wife and I have actually you know become friends with a couple of their bartenders there. Um, every time we go to Two James, it's a good time. Yeah. All right, so we're going to be checking out two James. Uh, I have to say that I'm a big fan of Marlo. Marlo, we had him on our sh his show earlier. He's at Candy Bar. Mm -hmm. I know he's going to be there doing some crazy stuff. Candy Bar's great. Candy Bar is fantastic. It's a beautiful bar, too. Um, Don, give us one guy that you want to hit. Well, you know, I don't know anybody in particular that I want to hit, but I definitely mm. want to go to Apparatus Room because rumor has mm. it is they're stocking a new tequila. Oh. I, I don't know, wow. you know what oh, that could that, be. That's <laughs> ironic. You know, I mean, I'm just saying, but I, I think I'm going to have to hit up the apparatus room and see what they have uh, concocting. Yeah, good, good, good plug. Shame good plug. You like that? <clears throat> you know, I thought that would be fun. But yeah, I definitely want to check them out. Great. So uh, again, we are going to be live casting at 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. We have way too much camera gear and lighting and all sorts of stuff. I apologize. It's <laughs> I kind of did some overkill. Um, my okay. poor wife is going to be there. <laughs> Seth is going to be there. She's doing a great job. Um, she's doing a great job. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to talk to all the bartenders, and this will be great.